Welcome back Pest Collectors! After going to day one of the Michigan Pest Convention, I just couldn't wait to go back to day two. I just had so much fun. Well, when I walked into the game night room the night before, they asked me if I wanted to sign up for cornhole. And I was like, okay, <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's not something I normally play, and I've only played it a couple times in my life. But I thought it sounded like a lot of fun. So I had to be back at the convention by 10.30 a.m. so I can participate in the cornhole tournament. Or I should call it the Wallet's World Famous Beanbag Tournament. That's what they call it on the website at least. <laughs> I'm gonna play some cornhole. <laughs> and if you're not familiar with what cornhole is, I didn't know the rules going in, but you basically just team up with somebody. So there's two people on the team and then you throw the bag full of little corn kernels at the cornhole board which has a hole, but if cornhole bag goes inside the hole, then that's three points. And if the bag lands on the board, that's one point. So it's not always just about, you know, making the bag go in the hole. It's also strategy, you know, getting your bag just to sit on the board. And the first team that scores 21 points wins. Well, we just uh, buddied up so we can play cornhole. I teamed up with Sharon and I think we had a really good time, at least for the first game because we ended up winning it. So we got to advance to the next round and I was kind of surprised just because I haven't played much at all. And the other team that we played against at first, they were really good. I won't bore you with the entire game of cornhole that I played, but here are some of my favorite throws that we did. Here's some more really great throws from our second round. We didn't end up losing, but I still had a lot of fun. Sharon. <laughs> and I might need to buy a cornhole game so I can practice here at home, especially if I'm going to go back next year. I don't know if they do this every year, but it seems like they do because the people who won last year, you know, they have bragging rights all year. I thought that was pretty fun. Besides getting to play cornhole, I also got to meet some pest collectors I didn't know before, so that was really great. Next up, I went to pick up my registration packet, and I've been looking forward to picking up my registration packet for some time. Because when I get to go to conventions, I'm always about the like convention merch or the event merch. I like that. And as you can see, I'm wearing my t-shirt from the convention. <laughs> and it's awesome because on the back, I don't know if you can tell, but all the names of everybody that registered for the event are on there. I really like the t-shirt. I like the design this year. I like the black and the green. And I think the tree logo is really nice as well. So good job, Jim and Jody. I don't know who designed it. So, good job for them as well. That's really cute, isn't that? I love the little mascots. 
Pretty fun. <laughs> Are your packets? Oh. <coughs> what do we get this year? There's a couple pads, of dispensers and some candy and candy bags. and your t-shirts. Nice. So besides just the t-shirt, when you register for the convention, you also get three pet dispensers and they come in these little bags. Well, one of them's on card, so I'm gonna show you that one last. These are super cool because cut out of the stem here, it says M.I. Pez. So it's Michigan Pez. On the top there it says Michigan Pez Convention 2020. So I'm guessing these were made for the convention that didn't happen in 2020 because of the pandemic. But the year doesn't really matter. I think the dispensers are really nice and these are gonna look really nice displayed on my Pez shelves. There's another one here. Oh I see. I see what's going on. <laughs> so check this one out. This one's green and this one's yellow but let me show you here and you'll, and you'll go oh yeah. But that's this M.I. Pez. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the spring through there. And then on the top there it says Michigan Pez Convention 2020. But this one has the tree and it's green, so this must be summer. I think the yellow one is spring and the green one is definitely summer because it has the most leaves. However, they made the little top part on here. It looks really neat, especially under the lights here. They kind of sparkle and glisten with the paint. I like them a lot. And then also inside the green bag, there's a pin. This is cool. So on the pin there it says in my PESCON and then underneath there it says fifth anniversary and there's little graphics of all the seasons of the trees. I really like it. It looks really nice. The greens and the grays and the black. A really nice color palette there. I like it a lot. So this pin came with the green PES dispenser and there's also this pack of four packs of PES candy. I love this. I didn't see this until recently with the Panda PES gathering but I love how they do the graphic that goes across four different Pez candies. And it's the logo, it says fifth anniversary there. But check out the back. <laughs> it has a bunch of different mustaches and colors. I love it. So the game night theme was glasses and mustaches. And you were supposed to wear glasses or mustaches to the game night. So I guess that's why there's mustaches on the back of the candy. And then my most favorite dispenser that I got, even though these are really nice, I really love this one. <laughs> Here are the Pez. Like dispensers for the year for the convention so check out the Michigan Pez convention fifth anniversary Pez dispenser isn't that really nice of course it's the smiling emoji Pez dispenser and printed on the stem there it says fifth anniversary Michigan Pez convention June 2020 the card design on this looks really good and then the green crystal emoji head I just love it I'm not usually much for ball molds but just the colors, and I think if you took this off the card, it probably wouldn't look as cool as it is on the card, but it's still really nice. I like this one a lot. There were other items in the registration room that you could buy. There were a whole bunch of t-shirts from past conventions, and I did buy one of those. <laughs> so I'll have to stay tuned to my convention haul video, or videos maybe, because I did buy maybe way too much stuff at this convention. <laughs> There were also drinking glasses with logos. There were bears wearing Michigan Pez Commission t-shirts, which I was like this close to buying, but then I kind of forgot to go back and actually buy one. There was just so much going on. I don't even know how I found time to do anything. <laughs> like time just went whoop, like it was gone during this whole convention. There were custom made wooden signs, which I thought were really nice. There were patches, and then there were a whole bunch of like convention dispensers that you could buy. There were a whole bunch of pins that you could buy. Just like anything that you see, like here, you couldn't buy these. These were only given out to the people who registered this year, but you could buy, I don't know if you could buy these either, but there was a whole bunch of pest dispensers like these. There were also a bunch of trucks, and but you can only buy this convention merch at the convention. So if you ever wanna buy any of this stuff, you can't buy it online, unless you buy it from someone that went. They don't actually sell it online, like on their website. So if you want to buy any of the stuff that you see in this registration room, you're going to want to register and go to the Michigan Pest Convention next year so you can buy yourself like anything that you see in this video. <laughs> Not promising that they'll have any left, but it looks like they probably will because they had quite a lot of merch. Okay. Kind of want to bear it, I don't know. <laughs> well, the bears are there. Um, this is the first show the bears are here. Obviously you have the little bears, you have the big bears, and they have four different um, the black with different color lettering, you know, black background or black lettering, same with the white. Um, that is the first year they have gone pretty well.
Has Outlaw movie was filmed here, and I believe we were here in September or August. This is the actual poster for the movie, of Has Outlaw movie. All the people that were part of making that movie, this, the extras, the extras in the Pez Outlaw movie. The first one's going to go into the auction tonight, so you bid on it and you get it. And this one is going into the Michigan collection, and the last one will be presented to Steve Blue for his own personal. He doesn't know about this. Well, I'm done playing cornhole. I got my registration packet. Let's get to room hopping. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> and of course, I got to do more room hopping today. I always love room hopping, so the more room hopping, the better. <laughs> and I got to look at a lot of Pez. I actually got to buy a lot of Pez. And you'll see some of the Pez that I bought coming up here, but I'm also not going to show you everything so I can save some for my convention haul video. You did, so I got most of mine for her. <laughs> a whole bag of psychedelic. Uh, custom. Yeah, custom pez. I see the how Howard the Duck. And, uh, what's that? What's that one? That's the TVA. TVA. From Loki. That's me. Right. I'm a Marvel yeah. geek. Let's yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> Anything Marvel or Disney or Star Well, the coolest Marvel one, I think. Well, not coolest, but probably. Oh, yeah, so that's it. That's Excuse me one second. Hello. Right. But this one, the, act, the fabric that's in each dispenser mm -hmm. is actually is from the fabric used to make each of those individual hero costumes. Just to be clear, this is yeah. not just about So I acquired that from Tops 20 years ago when they did the cards. I got the leftovers, and and I did a giveaway at the FX convention for Storm and, and Jean Grey because I had a lot of that, but I didn't have much of the guys. And um, I just, I had 60 pieces of Wolverine. That's why this is limited to 60. So, but it's each individual character. I, I was, yeah, FX kind of. to point out this is Jason Heimbach Hi. and uh, he helped me out with the Panda Info and uh, connecting with a couple of other the I guess Pez gathering hosts because it's hard to find the, the Pez Pandas like these right here. I Right before I got here I got the um, Madrid one in. Okay. How much is all that stuff up there? <laughs> like two grand each. Two grand each? Is it a full box set? Yeah, this is a full set. This one has a few missing from it, but it's close. That's so cool. I love the old, like, display, especially when it had the candy packs. Absolutely. It's my favorite when everything's original like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. By far, you know, my favorite. You know, those tapered with the dispensers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably one of the only ones in cello. It's a brown stem. A brown? Yeah. Most people don't even know what came on that stem. That. Yep. And the only reason why they know what does is because of this right here. That's yeah. why this is a very, like, this is actually probably like 600 bucks just for that alone. And normally, what is it, like $20 Pez out of package? <laughs> you want one for $5? I'll give you one for five. I think I might five over here somewhere. You know, where, what do I have on it? Eight bucks. Yeah. You know, but because that's rare and in the package like that, and yeah. it shows that brown stem and nobody else has it like that, it makes it unique. If 
you watch my videos, you know I'm a dog lover. I have a little dog named Clover, and she's appeared in many of my videos before. And at the Pets Convention, there was Dusty. The little Dusty dog was so sweet, and you wouldn't even know that Dusty was in the room. <laughs> That's how well behaved this little dog was. So, hi Dusty! <laughs> I think if I would have brought my dog Clover, Dusty and Clover could have been best friends. <laughs> In my last video I didn't really talk a lot about trading pet swag, but I got to trade more pet swag today, which was a lot of fun. I love getting pet swag. Everybody's swag is so creative. I don't think I got any swag that I was like, oh, like this is not good. Like everything I got was above and beyond what I expected for getting swag from you know people at a pest convention. <laughs> so I can't wait to display all my pet swag that I got on my pest display. Different color candy legs and different silver webs. And I have swag too. <laughs> That's super cute. Love it. It's a magnet. It's so like I can hang it on the. I'll hang this on my fridge. <laughs> it's awesome. And here's my swag. Very cute. Mine is two different games, two different alphabet games. Game? So this is actually a famous painting. Um, yeah. And I've given the painter credit. Yeah. And it's all different uh, products. Yeah, okay, I see. And then I made my own game and it's all different candies. Uh -huh. Only candy. So is I'm Carla. Familiar? I'm from Cincinnati. This is how we spell O H I O in football games. And I'm an <laughs> avid buckeye. That's awesome. I like this. I'm a graphic designer, so like these are all like fonts. Yeah. <laughs> I look at these and I'm like fonts. Exactly. And you recognize the, the P, P of P. course. Like Reese's. Uh, so um, do you have swag? Ego, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's cute. We'll have, we'll have to see which stand up to the Mandela effect. Did I give you a Are those no. uh, no. shrinky dinks? Oh. <laughs> this is well done. Wait, check that out. So cute. Aaron, this is super cute. <laughs> well done. Here's the sticker. Okay. Oh! That's a nice sticker. Wow. Alrighty. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. This is cool. And I'm gonna make a whole nother video showing all my pet swag that I got. And maybe I'll also share some clips from when I traded with people. I, th I thought that video would be a lot of fun. So if you're not subscribed to my videos, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on my swag video. And also I'm gonna be making a lot more of these pest convention videos in the near future. My husband and I, we shot so much video for this convention. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks again, Greg, my husband, for helping me film all this. So any of this video that you see, a majority of it, he filmed it. So thanks, Greg. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I'm Mike Moran, by the way. Nice to meet you. This is Sophia, my daughter. She's the actual collector. <laughs> You know, the shot class is when you get home, just dump a bunch of loose candies in them. They'll oh, look a lot fun. better. I was going to do that, but we couldn't figure yeah. out how to seal the tops. Yeah. So, yeah, it makes everything pop a lot better. I gave out candy because I don't know what to do with all my candy. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's a good idea. Back. Yeah. But I did forget to buy a hat for my egg baby. And as I'm watching this footage back, I do regret that. <laughs> I love how there's hats that you can buy for your egg babies. What a great idea. What is, what is, what, what is that? <laughs> okay, so I always, I always say, oh, that egg baby is so ugly. So I decided to make that hat for her to cover it up. <laughs> I made a That's video that. for TikTok talking about how ugly the egg baby is. That's why I made egg baby hat. Oh my God, that's so cute. I just thought it was weird. I was like, I never once got an egg in a, a baby in an egg for a <laughs> 
During the Michigan Pez Convention, I got to meet so many other Pez collectors. And some of you told me that you watched my videos. I just want to say thanks again to everyone who's ever watched one of my videos. I don't make these videos just for me. I make these videos to help out other Pez collectors and, you know, bring the Pez community together as well. Did you get it on video when I told her that her videos bring me a lot of enjoyment? I think so. Good, yeah, yeah. they do. I just love them. They make me laugh. They make me happy. Yeah, look at that. You'll probably be in the video. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And it means a lot to me that you watch my videos, so as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm so glad I got to meet pest collectors in person because a lot of you I talk to online and to actually meet you in person, I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm Kevin, by the way. Yeah, wait, tell sorry. I'm Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. I've seen some of your videos, yeah. that's why I figured. And you're, and you're <laughs> husband. Greg, her husband. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Greg, yeah. I'm Kevin. Nice well, to meet you. Nice. The next room that I go in is Doug's room. And that's Sharon's husband, you know, Sharon, my team member from Cornhole. <laughs> they were both so nice and very welcoming. And I'm really glad I got to meet you guys. Oh, he's got, those are cool. Those are the pop toes mm -hmm. and the t-shirts. Oh, I need that. Get them. Wait. I need the red dog. Did you see these? These are really super cool. I don't know if I've ever seen these in eggs. Like usually you see them loose. Yeah, loose, yeah. There's, I think, six different ear colors or ear combinations. Well, actually, I think it's three different ear combinations: red and blue stems. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I have watched you. Okay, you want some swag? I didn't I bring swag. Any, I can still give you swag. I'll brush. <laughs> Unless you don't want swag. You know, I would love swag. I just ran out of, um... Patience, ideas. Ideas. Ideas, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, did you guys get any swag? Thank you! <laughs> oh, nice. I saw you posted yeah. this. <laughs> oh, That's very cool. cool. Thank you. It comes full Thank circle you. from Instagram to... In your hand. <laughs> Instagram in your hand. That is a great yeah. slogan. Oh yeah, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank so you. So how long have you been collecting? Oh, forever, like uh, probably like 25 years or more. Okay, because like, uh, I started in 97. Oh yeah, probably back, yeah, back then. Or probably before that. Because like I used to collect like in like middle school, I guess. And, yeah. Like, like your high school, and then we, we used to go like John Devlin's post conventions in St. Louis. Okay. And so, uh, and then he stopped doing those, so I started having to go to like out Cleveland. of your yeah. area. <laughs> oh my god, well, you'll be in Cleveland next month? No, we're not going because oh. we're going to go to San Diego kind of thing. Oh, oh that's, that's better. Sure. I don't blame yeah, that. Yeah, I don't blame you there. That. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be. One probably too. So. <laughs> well, it was great to, to meet you. It was nice to meet you guys. What's your name? Oh, I'm Megan. Megan. And that's Wendy. Yep. So. And like I said, I'm going to be making a convention haul video very soon showing all my convention items that I purchased. And I might do, you know, like a two part video because I did buy a lot. And as I'm watching the footage back, it's a lot of fun because I'm like, oh yeah, I did buy that. And I bought that because I'm trying to keep it boxed away so that when I do bring it out to show you on my video that I'm all excited all over again. But I was fortunate enough to catch Steve before the Q&A and I got an interview, one-on-one -on -one interview with him and I asked him some questions that I had after watching the Pest Outlaw movie. So stay tuned for that video because I'm going to be making a Steve Glue the Pest Outlaw video. I'll have the interview in there. I'll show off the dispensers or the not a Pez dispensers that he makes and I'll tell you a little bit more about Steve Glue in case you're like, you know, who's Steve Glue? Because, you know, he has a very interesting story and if you believe it or not, or if you think it's exaggerated or not, I did ask him questions about that. <laughs> so stay tuned for that video. I think it's gonna be a really good one. I watched back the footage from the interview today. It's better than I remembered, I guess. Yeah, we saw your movie already. We watched it at the Cleveland, like we streamed it, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really great, I liked it. It was it was a lot of fun to make. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. You know, everybody they think you know you're gonna be all Ugh, in front of the camera and whatever. And I just loved it. I <laughs> yeah, loved the experience. I was surprised because for a while there, I was like, is that is that Steve playing himself? 
Yeah. And then he was like, yeah, that's him. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, like, you were so good. It just seemed like he was if just like a If you stood <laughs> in front of me with that, we yeah. rolled it, and, and then die, die, die. A yeah. spray on, actually a spray on, uh, like Christmas, yeah. but uh, black. And um, if you were standing in front of me, it was like, <laughs> but it filmed really well. Yeah. <laughs> Movie magic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Then starting at 2 o'clock was the showing for the Pez Outlaw movie. That's the documentary all about Steve Glue, the Pez Outlaw, and how he was able to bring in so many Pez dispensers from Pez International into the United States and sell them here on the Pez Collector's Market, which is crazy. Like he says he brought in 1 to 2 million Pez dispensers over the time that he was bringing in Pez dispensers. And here's a video of him talking about that because there was a Q&A right after the showing of the Pez Outlaw movie, where Steve Blue, the Pez Outlaw, and John Devlin, you know, the guy that used to run the St. Louis Pez Convention, and he's a longtime Pez collector. He has like some really amazing Pez pieces in his collection. <laughs> he's been collecting way longer than I have, and that's a long time. <laughs> How many dispensers, like an estimate in all, do you think over the years, you personally, or you know, you as a team have brought into the U.S. Like, yeah, it has to be to 10,000 or something if you need to. I know, I mean, I meant to like the nearest 10,000. <laughs> like, Somewhere between, I would guess, one and two million. Wow. Um, it, it was a lot. Uh, the 4.5 million is off my tax records. And half of that money went back into new product. And, um, at about 0.25 to 1.1 dollar ten cent per, you you easily get to one million. So it's somewhere between there, and and yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. By the time the Q and A was over, it was dinner time, and I've been wanting to go to downtown Ann Arbor, which the Pest Convention is only maybe like five to seven minutes from the downtown area. You just like go down the street and you'll hit the downtown. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super close and I wanted to check it out because I like small cities. I like that idea of, you know, it's not like a New York, it's not a Chicago, it's not a St. Louis. It's a smaller city, but it's still got a lot of action and there's a lot of people that live there. And the University of Michigan is in the downtown Ann Arbor area. So that brings in a lot of college kids. There were a lot of younger people that lived there. I actually felt kind of old. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. We've never been to Ann Arbor before, so we wanted to go check out a taco place. That's where that's where we're headed. <laughs> we ate tacos at a place called Condado, and it was a really hip, cool place. It was kind of like a Chipotle or Qdoba, if you have those around you, but like maybe higher end gourmet type tacos of your different types and it was really good. The food was really good. The atmosphere was really fun and I really enjoyed it. And I wish I would open a Condado in St. Louis, but that would be pretty bad because I would eat there all the time. <laughs> After we ate dinner, we headed back over to the convention and the Pez auction was going on and that's the charity auction. So people donate all types of Pez items you know, they could be dispensers. There were a lot of pictures. There was like baskets and like Tervis cups. There was all kind of like one-off products that you'll never find anywhere else but at the charity auction probably. I've, I've got $2,600 for the basket from the Hicks family plus a lot of love in this room. The charity auctions at Pest Convincers are a lot of fun because they do raise money for a charity. <laughs> And the official charity for the Michigan Pest Convention is Higher Ground at Lake Louise. So it's a camp for kids. If you want to learn more about Higher Ground at Camp Louise, I'll put a link down in the description below here so you can check it out. So you can learn more about the charity and I guess maybe you can donate if you want to. I believe that they are raising money to send kids to the camp. After the auction was over, it was pretty late. I don't know if we got back to the hotel, you know, around 11 or later. It was late. But after the auction, we did end up hanging out with some other pest collectors and that was a lot of fun because you know some of them I've known from the St. Louis Pest Convention and some of them were new people I met and I think that's a really great opportunity to meet you know more pest collectors so if I did meet you that night <laughs> or if I saw you again 
had a lot of fun and you know maybe we can catch up again at the next post convention that I attend. If you want to see what my day three was like from the Michigan post convention and that's when I went to the post show then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video. If you did miss my first day at the Michigan Pez Convention video, I'll link it right above here. So just click this little box here and they'll take you to the day one video. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> well, as always, thanks for watching. Bye!